everyone, this is Angela from State of Puzzling. So we recently had um, a, a bit of rain and it was a very, very heavy wind and rain um, that really was um, all day. And I really hadn't had a lot of that in, in the puzzle studio. So what you're looking at are these protective covers um, that I purchased for the shelving, for the puzzle shelving. So I have three... Um, I have three 30 by 60. Um, these are the wire shelves. So these, the first three covers that you're seeing are the 30 by 60. And then that tall one is a, is meant to fit a 24 by 72. Um, the problem with these shelves, uh, with this covering is what I found out was that it was not waterproof, um, not sufficiently waterproof. And Although they're nice color, they're very lightweight, they really will not protect the puzzle if I had um, any kind of roof damage or something, you know, any kind of leak coming through. And so what I'm going to do is replace these. I have some replacement covers and I'll show you the company. Um, for most of the covers, I found some replacement covers. And I'm going to go about um, just replacing the the um, these puzzle covers. So I will show you that once that is done. But you can see this um, the size on here. This is from FormosaCovers.com. It's a 30 by 60, 14 you know 15 inch depth, which fits the shelving. And then you can see this one here is a 24 and a half by 72. And I feel like these. These will work um, better for me. So let me go ahead and I'll change these out and then I will show you what they look like. Goodbye for now. Okay, so I have most of the covers off, um, except for the one, and I did just want to point out that when you put these covers on, notice that I have spacing in between the shelves. Um, these are the wire shelves that come on wheels. For me, they're the best to use, um, simply because they are portable, but when you put your covers on, you're gonna to have to leave um, a little bit of space uh, in between the shelving. And I think that that's really important. Um, I don't, and, I, and I'll show you what the final change looks like, but um, you know, like I said, we had a, we had a rain and I'm, I'm kind of changing these shelves out. So you see everything is zippered up, but I usually don't keep them zippered up. What I'll do is open them and then I kind of peel back and I roll the sides back into the spacing that is in between the wire shelving. So that allows me to, that still allows me to get to the puzzles. So that's why that spacing um, is really, really important. So I just wanted to point that out. But let me um, go ahead and I'll take this last one off. And I'm sorry about the video. I don't have my, I don't have my video help.
today, so I'm trying to do this on my own. Um, and I think my selfie stick or whatever it is, is is downstairs. But, you know, you can just kind of, I, I really love the way these zippers are made. And they're on the better shelf, on the better covers, you'll see, you know, these kind of try part zippers, which I, I really love. And so you just kind of zip them down, right? So I'm just going to zip all the way down. Um, it does have a seam that runs across. So this does not zip all the way down and then come out. Um, there's a seam. Let's see if I can, <laughs> let's see if I can show you that. But as I'm zipping this down, I'm just going to zip this all the way down and get myself down here. And so you can see... I really want to show you this. See, that's not going to come. That's not going to come all the way. So let me just see if I can get that situated. So you can see here. So that's not that's not going to zip all the way out. It's not going to zip all the way out like that. So there's a seam. There's a seam that comes across there, and that kind of keeps it. I really find that it keeps the it keeps the shape really well. And and that's okay. That's okay. The other thing that I really like about these shelves and and like I said, I'll put the I'll put the correct shelves on, um the correct covers on. Um but the seams, they have these really pronounced seams and they really help for folding these covers. When you, when you go to fold them up. Okay, so these are the Formosa covers. And I'll put their information in the um, video description below. This, this particular cover is a 30 wide by 60 long. So that will certainly fit, I have three of them to fit the smaller, the, the three smaller shelves, the 30 by 60s. Um, I like that it's right at 60, so it's not really going to drag the floor. There are quite a few um, zippers. The depth on this is 15, it's about 14 and a half d uh, deep, which is fine. The shelf itself is, is about 15, so I think it will fit more snug which is good. Um, what I like is that it has the same tri zipper formation as my other shelves did. It has that on the front and the back. So you can, you can actually flip this in, you know, you can use the back if you don't want it covered, if you, if you don't want it to be see-through or you can use the see-through front. So I'm gonna choose to use the see-through front and then I'm going to be rolling this back in the spacing on the shelf. So I think that will work well. Um, it has it has an additional zipper, uh, which I haven't quite figured out what this one is. But I think it's just a matter of helping you to get it onto, uh, to get that cover situated. So there's another zipper that's running along the seam, um, along the seam here. I don't need to utilize that. I'm just going to. I'm just going to position it um, on on top of the sh um, shelves, and then I'm just going to pull it down. Um, the other thing I think is really good about this one, my other covers, and I'll show it to you from here. When you zip down, I notice that on this one, my hand is getting in the way, but I notice on this one the zip the zipper is coming all the way down, so it's really going to be like a jacket that I can put on. Whereas the other covers had a had a binding that was running across, so the zipper didn't come all the way out. So I think these would be actually easier to put on. So I'm looking forward to getting this one on. So let me go ahead and and I'll get this on the first shelf and then I'll come back and show you that. This is Angela from State of Puzzling. Happy puzzling, folks. Goodbye for now.